Jake, come in the middle. Play, play. Let's go, let's go. Whether he's playing center for his flag football team or cheering on his favorite team, the USC Trojans, for Jake Olson, football is not a game, it is a passion. When Jake was a year old, he was diagnosed with retinoblastoma, cancerous tumors in both eyes. Doctors removed his left eye, but with chemotherapy and radiation, were able to save his right. That right eye has shown him his world. The faces of his parents, his twin sister, Emma, and the things he loves most. Over his 12 years, the cancer came back eight times, and eight times Jake beat it. In September, Jake learned it had come back again, and this time treatment didn't work. Jake learned he would lose that eye too. I said, well, Jake, you know, how you doing, buddy, you okay? And he goes, he goes, yeah, mom. He goes, you know what? He goes, this is just gonna be a new stage in my life. Just sad, like I won't be able to see them ever again. And just like we fought so hard and yet cancer wins. So, but then it's like, well, I'm gonna experience something that no one else can experience. With more than a month before his surgery, Jake told his parents that what he wanted to see most one last time was another USC game. His wish reached Trojan head coach Pete Carroll. The first thing was, is let's make sure he gets inside and sees everything he wants to see. And uh, you know, God bless him, he deserves every bit of it. It began with an invitation to team practice and an introduction to Jake's favorite player, center Chris O'Dowd. It wasn't long before a bond was born between fellow centers. Right when I met this kid, you know, I really felt a connection with him because it's really rare for somebody to reach out to like an offensive lineman or, you know, someone in our position. It's amazing how a seventh grader can make a hundred guys dead quiet and just hear every word comes out of his mouth. It's because they have that mutual respect and, and you know, that, 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 that love for this, for this kid, Jake. Within days of their meeting, Jake seemingly became part of the team, pumping up the O-line in South Bend. Walking the Trojan Walk down the hallowed Coliseum steps alongside Pete Carroll and reveling with the team after beating Oregon State. I got to sit next to Pete Carroll on the bus, which was awesome. I got to see the practices, which was awesome. I got to go into the locker room and everyone was partying. In just a short time, the Trojans gave Jake a lifetime of memories. What images from all this will you take with you as you go in to surgery and then coming out? I'm going to know what, they're, what they look like, like Blake, long blonde hair, Chris real big and mustache and beard and everything. I'm going to take in my parents, my friends, so when, I'm, when they're talking to me, I just will picture them in my head, oh, that's my dad, oh, that's my mom, oh, that's my best friend Connor. It's just, I want to take in as much as I can. Come on, yo, come on, yo. It's the night before surgery, and Jake wants to spend it with the Trojans I hear you, Jake. I hear you. to get a last look at his new teammates. <laughs> Loves, loves you, Jake, and we can't wait for you to come back. As soon as you get back, come see us, okay? All right. You promise? Yep. Being at the practice and being with the guys and just, you know, it, there wasn't like this intensity of, of what we were confronting the next day. It just turned out to be a really sweet moment, and I'll never forget that sight in my mind, and Jake Jake won't either. Give me a big, a big hug, man. Hey, everything's going to be all right. All right. Man. On the day of surgery, Chris O'Dowd came to the hospital and the Olsons sneaked him in as Uncle Chris. The nurse came in and gave him his IV. And right then, you know, Jake just broke down. You know, uh, he just emotionally broke down. You know, the parents broke down. Uh, I broke down. You know, I went up, gave him a, a kiss on the head and just 
told him some words of wisdom, you know, you're the strongest kid I've ever known. You know, keep being who you are and everything will work out. It was a tough morning. My mom woke me up and I started crying and, you know, she started crying. And never stopped through the morning and then as soon as Chris got there, I felt a little better. I just didn't want that day to come and I just had it. It wasn't the fear of being blind, it was more the fear of, all right, this is like my last minutes of seeing, you know, last hours. That was the fear. I saw a light, like white kind of, it was like white light, and um, I heard my mom and dad talking to me, which comforted me, and I really didn't feel sorrow because it's already happened, I can move on, I can do whatever I want. You know, I don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't have to worry about that day coming. It's already happened. Six days after his surgery, Jake had a promise to keep. Hey, Jake, here. Hey, Jake. Oh. Hey, Barkley. Hey, Barkley. Doing? Good. How are you? You could hear practice. Mm -hmm. Could you see it? I could see it, but with those big hits, I can. I mean, it's it's kind of more fun to actually hear the hits than actually see the hits. It's like, oh, what just happened? And this time, it was the Trojans who, after losing to Stanford days earlier, drew inspiration from Jake. All right, guys, you you lost, but you know what? We'll get him next year, and the year after that, and the year after that, and the year after that, and the year after that. And the year after that and the year. All right, so don't feel bad. We're going to go cream those Bruins. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Nice job, Jake.